Excel has many features to protect your workbook or your worksheets. You can protect your worksheets from being modified. You can protect the structure of your workbooks as well, or you can protect your workbooks from being modified. And you can also protect your workbooks from being opened at all. But what if you forget the password that you use to protect your workbook or your worksheet? What would you do in this case? Well, in this video, we're going to show how you can remove the protection from workbooks or worksheets. However, you need to make sure to use that ethically to only open the workbooks or worksheets that you own and forgot the password for. All right. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so let's speak about the first type of protection, which is applied to your Excel worksheets. So you can apply a protection to your Excel worksheets if you go to the review tab on the ribbon and then click on protect sheet. And now you can set a password to unprotect your sheet. So I'll set a password, let's say one, two, three, and I'll click OK here and I'll re-enter the password just to confirm it. One, two, three and click OK. And now after setting up that password, you will see here that if I try to modify my sheet, so if I try to write something in any cell, you'll see that I get this error message here that the cell or chart you're trying to change is on a protected sheet. So to make that change, we need to unprotect the sheet and you might be requested to enter a password. So I won't be able to unprotect the sheet unless I enter the password. So I'll need to click on this unprotect sheet button and enter the password in order to be able to modify my sheet. And the sheet that I protected here is called pivot table. So we need to make sure to know what the sheet number is for pivot table or the sheet index numbers. And to do that, we can press Alt and F11 on our keyboard and this will open the VBA environment and you can see here that the pivot table sheet is the fourth sheet or sheet number four here. So this is something that we need to know before applying our workaround to remove the protection on the sheet. All right, so now that we know that information, we can then close our worksheet and you can see here that I created a folder here on my desktop where I have this workbook that is called remove sheet password protection. And you'll see here that this is for the protected sheet. So this is the workbook that we protected the sheet on the pivot table sheet on. So before applying the workaround to remove the protection, we should first take a copy of the workbook just in case we do something wrong. Let's take a backup copy. So I'll press control and C to copy it and then control and V here to paste it and I've pasted my copy here. So I have a backup copy and I can start working on my sheet. So what I need to do is to change the extension of this worksheet from a .xlsx to a .zip extension. So first we can view the extension of a file. I'm here in Windows 11, so I'll select the file and I'll go to view and then under show, I'll click on file name extensions, and this will make the file names appear, including the extensions. So I press F2 here on my keyboard to rename and I'll remove .xlsx extension and I'll replace it with a .zip extension, as you can see here, and press enter. And here it's going to warn me that if you change the file name extension, the file might become unusable. Are you sure you want to change it? Yes, I would like to change it. And as you can see here, I've made it a .zip extension. And now I can start opening this .zip file with an application that can open .zip files, such as in my case, I have WinRare, but even there is a default application for Windows that can open .zip files. And there's also 7-zip as another application. So there are many applications that can do that. So I just double click to open and you will see that I will have multiple folders here. I'll double click on the Excel folder here to open it. And then I'll have a worksheets folder. This is what I'm looking for since I've put a protection on my worksheet. So I'll double click on that. And because my pivot table worksheet was sheet number four, so this is what I'm looking for. What I need to do is to take a copy of this sheet. I'll just copy it to the folder on my desktop here. And what I need to do is to open it so I can open this sheet with a text editor such as Notepad, for example. So if I double click on it, it's going to be opened in Notepad. And what I should be looking for is the word protection. So I'll click on Control and F on my keyboard and I'll type protection and I'll press enter here. So you will see here that I have 
sheet protection here so this is what i'm looking for you will see here that we have this less than sign on sheet protection and what i'm looking for is to highlight everything from that less than sign until the next greater than sign so we have an opening angled bracket and i'll search for the closing angled bracket which is here as you can see here so here is the opening angled bracket here's the closing angled bracket so i'll just delete that part here on this dot xml file and i'll save it i'll press Control and s on my keyboard to save it and i'll close that and then here on the zipped file i'll just delete the old sheet 4xml and then i'll just copy this modified sheet 4.xml to my .zip file and click OK. So as you can see it, now I have the new modified sheet4.xml in my .zip file and I'll close my .zip file and then I'll rename it again here to .xlsx. So I'll press F2 here after selecting the file and I'll make it a .xlsx instead of a .zip and I'll confirm and now we have our file renamed here and it's become an Excel workbook. So if I double click to open my Excel workbook, what I will find is that the protection on my pivot table sheet is now removed because I'm able to modify the cells on my sheet as you can see. All right, so this is the workaround for removing the protection on an Excel worksheet on a protected Excel worksheet. And this is the first type of protection. Another type of protection is protecting your workbook structure, which you can do by going to the review tab on the ribbon and then clicking on protect workbook. And now we can set a password. Let's say I'll set a password of one, two, three, and this will protect the structure of the workbook. And I'll explain what that means in a second. So I'll click OK here. I'll confirm the password and click OK. And now the structure of your workbook is protected. So you can't move your worksheets, as you can see here and you can't add any new worksheets. So that's another type of protection, which is protecting the structure of your workbook. All right, so now that we've had our workbook structure protected, how do we remove the protection? Well, we're just gonna close our workbook here and let's take a backup copy of our workbook as we did last time, just in case, so that if we make a mistake, we still have a backup copy. And as you can see here, we have our workbook with an extension of .xlsx. We're gonna change that. So I press F2 to rename and I'll change the extension to be a .zip extension and press enter and I'll confirm. And now I have a .zip file. I'll open it by double clicking. And now I have the .zip file opened. I'll double click on this Excel folder here and I'll have this workbook.xml file. So I'll need to make a modification in this workbook.xml file. I'll just copy here to my folder. I'll double click to open this workbook.xml file and it will be opened in my notepad or any text editor. I'll search for the word protection, control and F to search and press enter. And the first result is not what I'm looking for as this is just the path of the folder containing my file. So I'll go to the next result here. So I'll click on search down. And actually what I'm looking for is workbook protection here. So I'll start from this opening angled bracket and I'll highlight all the way until the first closing angled bracket, which is this one here. So as you can see here after lock structure equals one. So I'll highlight everything until the closing angled bracket and I press delete to delete that part of the XML file and I'll press control and S to save and I'll close that and close the notepad here. And then here on my .zip file, I'll delete my workbook.xml file. So I'll highlight it, press delete on my keyboard and confirm. And I'll drag and drop my modified workbook.xml file and click OK to confirm and now this has become part of my .zip file. So I'll close my .zip file and now I'll rename the file and change its extension from .zip to .xlsx. Press enter, I'll confirm the change. And if I double click to open 
my workbook after making the changes you will see that now the workbook protection has been removed i'm able to add new worksheets here so there's no protection on the structure i'm able to move my worksheets as well in the workbook so as you can see here the workbook structure protection has been removed so this is how you can deal with the second type of protection which is a protection on your workbook structure the third type of protection in Excel is protecting the file against modification. You do that when you do a save as for your file. So if I press F12 on my keyboard to do a save as for my file here, and then click on tools, click on general options, and you will see here we have an option to set a password to open or a password to modify. We'll speak about the password to open option later, but for now let's speak about the password to modify so i'll set a password let's say one two three and i'll click ok and i'll type the password again and click ok and i'll save the file and overwrite my original file here so i'll save and overwrite it or replace it and i'll click on yes here and now if i close my file and try to reopen it you will see here that I'll be prompted to enter the password if I need to do a modification on the file. Otherwise, I'll be able to open it as a read only. So let's say I don't know the password, I'm only able to open it as a read only. And that means that if I make changes and try to do a save, so press Ctrl and S on my keyboard, you can see here that I'm gonna get an error message that you can't modify it because it's a read only. So to keep the changes, We'll need to save the workbook with a new name or in a different location so if i click ok i will be forced to do a save as and i won't be able to do a save so this is another type of protection so how can we break that protection or unprotect the workbook what is the workaround i'll just close my file here and to do that i'll start by first taking a copy of the file as we've always been doing and then i'll change the extension of the file so i'll rename it and i'll make the extension as a dot zip and i'll confirm that and then i'll double click to open it and i'll go into this excel folder and then I will have this workbook.xml file. I'll just copy it here to the folder and I'll double click to open it. And what I will be searching for is file sharing. So file sharing, this is what I'm searching for. And I'll search for that so you can see here I found it. So I'll highlight this opening angled bracket all the way until the closing angled bracket and I'll delete that and let's close my search bar here and I'll press Ctrl and S to save my file as well and I'll close my file and I'll close my notepad as well. All right, so we've made the modification. We'll just delete the workbook.xml file from the .zip file here, the original one. So I'll just click on delete and confirm and now I'll copy the modified workbook.xml file to my zip file and click OK and I managed to copy it. I'll close my zip file and I'll change the extension again to a .xlsx file and I'll open it again and now the protection is removed. If I try to type something here and press enter and press control and S, I'm able to save it. So there's no protection against modifying the file anymore. All right, so this is how you can unlock or remove the protection for modification on your Excel workbooks. All right, so let's now speak about the fourth type of protection, which is having a password or protection for opening the file. And you can set that up if you do a save as here. So when you press F12 on your keyboard and then click on general options and you set a password to open and then you confirm. Well, this kind of protection is the most secure protection that you can set on your Excel workbook. And there's no workaround for that by creating a zip file out of your folder and removing some code as we did with the previous three types of protection. So in this case, you will need to use third party softwares. And there are also people offering professional data recovery services, but I haven't used any of that firsthand. So I won't be able to illustrate how you can break that kind of protection. But if you know, something trusted that you've tried before then please leave it down below in the comments however always have ethical and legal considerations when 
removing protections on files and make sure that they are files that you own or should legally have access to. All right, guys, so this concludes our video today for how to unprotect your Excel worksheets and workbooks. So if you found the video helpful, please make sure to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be notified with all future videos. And please make sure to follow us on our social media. You'll find the links down below in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.